I'm sitting down Mr. Uh, Antonio Bar uh, Barbario, practice manager for Latin America and the Caribbean in the energy and extractive global practice sectors at the World Bank. Wow, it's a huge yeah. role there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for uh, having me here. Today. Yeah, it's good to see you here. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I understand that you've been to Korea many times, mm -hmm. but this is the first time to be at Big Spo, right? That's correct. Uh -huh. The first time I had the opportunity to see this uh, fascinating uh, exposition in terms of uh, energy technology. Right. So this is your first time to be at Bixpo. So what uh, is your impression of Bixpo? My impression is you can see uh, technology and knowledge alive with very simple and important uh, applications for the world that we live. Mm -hmm. If we're going, if we believe that the world can evolve towards a green growth, you just look around. Right. This is what you can see. <laughs> right, right. Um, what, which one stood out the most for you? Um, definitely the drones were quite <laughs> interesting. Drones? Yeah, because there are many applications, not just in the energy sector per se, in terms of uh, uh, looking after the, the, the infrastructure we have, mm -hmm. But also in terms of security, in terms of many other applications, data gathering, which is important for the other activities, activities we have. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting to see uh, some of control systems and the uh, solar panels over there. Quite impressive in terms of efficiency and size. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you for sharing that. Um, what I've heard that you have extensive experience in the energy and financing, mm -hmm. right? So can you kind of tell us what main characteristics of the Latin America and energy industry? Yeah, absolutely. Latin America is a, a region with a major uh, energy resource and has grown over the years. The population has increased the, uh, and has, been, has become uh, urban. But what differentiates Latin America from most of the other regions is a region that has a lot of renewables. Mm -hmm. It's a region that has developed based on hydropower. However, as time goes by, it's been more difficult to de keep developing this kind of source of energy. And therefore, now we are looking towards uh, wind, we are looking towards solar, we are looking towards technologies that can help with the storage, mm -hmm. uh, biodigesters, etc. Something that is new to Latin America, not in the same scale as we see in hydro. Mm -hmm. So that we can be more <laughs> environment friendly. Right? Absolutely. There are challenges, no doubts about, because technology is not available in Latin America. It's something that Latin America look around, look overseas to mm -hmm. see what would become good partners in terms of uh, transitioning and we see Korea as one of these partners can really uh, help the countries on this path. Mm, okay, so you mentioned the, co the cooperation mm -hmm. between the Latin America and mm -hmm. South Korea. Thank you for seeing that. So uh, in line with this, uh, do you have any suggestions for the Big Spo in the future? Absolutely. Um, First, bring more Latin American countries here. <laughs> I <laughs> yes, think it, it has come as a, as a good surprise for, for our, the countries. We have seven countries visiting uh, the Expo here. We have Brazil, Argentina, we have Mexico, sizable economies in, in, in the region. Also in Central America, we have another four company, uh, countries as well. It is interesting because they can see how a technology has evolved, has helped the, their companies to go, to grow and go the extra mile. But we have another um, 19 countries, mm -hmm. so we have plenty of people very willing and uh, uh, keen to see how experience can be turned into reality. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's a, a role that uh, Korea can help us. Okay, thank you for sharing your ideas and expertise and your precious time. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy the rest of staying here in Korea. Thank you. Thank you very much.